Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, we're gonna be talking about a Philippine literature lesson. The title is Why the Sky is High. We have three versions. We have Tagalog, Iloko, and Hiligaynon. Here are the guide questions for the week. Number one, who are the characters in each story? Number two, how did the sky go up in each story? Number three, what trait is common among the characters in the stories that made the sky to go up? And number four, for you, is it good to have a high sky? Why or why not? But in this video, we're just going to be dealing with the Tagalog version of why the sky is high. Let's try to make it more fun and engaging for this reading activity. This is what happens next. So I am going to flash the first scenario and then there will be um, so some questions that will be posted. And what you need to do is try to think of your answers or try to predict what's going to happen next. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. In the early days, when the sky was still low, two brothers named Ingat and the skull live with their parents on earth. As their names indicate, Ingat was careful in everything he did and was therefore his father's right-hand man. He was always helping with the work in the field and his parents were very pleased with him. On the other hand, the skull did his work slowly. Now, question number one. Do you think Ingat and the skull are the same? Why or why not? Try to guess. Number two, if Ingat does works with his father in the field, what do you think is the task of the skull? Try to think of your answers. Are you done thinking with your answers? Now let's find out the answers on the next page. Now, in the absence of a daughter in the family, the housework came to be the skull's responsibility. He fetched water, cleaned the house, and did the cooking. He also did the pounding of the palay that his father and Ingat harvested. Even in pounding, the skull lived up to his name. Half of the grain he pounded scattered and fell to the ground, being naturally lazy and impatient he did not like to work a pounding rice. Number three, how would you describe an impatient person? Try to comment down below. How would you describe an impatient person? Are you a type of person who is impatient? Hmm. Number four, what do you think is the effect or outcome of the skulls being impatient to his work? Next, one day, the skull had to found a greater quantity of palay than usual. He was irritated because every time he raised the pestle higher, and every time it hit the sky, the sky would be raised. In his hurry, the skull did not notice that the sky was rising. When he finished pounding the rice, he looked up and discovered that the sky had risen and it, it is where it is today. Why the sky is high, Tagalog version. Job well done! Okay, if you have any questions, please comment down below and I hope that you like, share, and subscribe my YouTube channel for more upcoming lessons and videos. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye!